And here we are, part four of our interview with Lou Graham, which, by the way, was 90 Minutes. In this one, we talk about the problem with the album Head Games and the song Dirty White Boy. I know a lot of you have been asking about helping the channel. There is now a link to PayPal where you can donate to Rock History Music. It's at the very top of the description of every single video. Thanks. Here's Lou Graham. Dirty White Boy, was that about somebody? It was uh, n nobody I knew. It, it, it was just a, a conglomeration of, of people like that that I had met, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I remember of all the songs you guys have, that's one. That's the one I play the loudest, by the way. that's It's just the way do, it goes. You, do, I'm not sure if you know, but that that song and that album was met with a lot of disdain really why uh, in in the northeastern uh radio stations and in the midwest it, it was considered a uh, um an obscene album cover to, oh. to see a young girl in a boy's bathroom wiping her number off the wall you know, and and by the look on her face, her look is like this, like somebody caught her, you know. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. And, and then Dirty White Boy, somehow, you know, it, it's about a rough and tough guy and all that stuff. But the Dirty White Boy was somehow deemed uh, racial. It had nothing to do with race. Nothing. It was about a tough kid, a dirty white boy, you know. And, and and so so it was banned at, at uh, the big Boston. I can't remember what station. The, a big Boston station, and, and a number of stations throughout the Midwest. And there were album burnings. They were they were there. There were bonfires with not just the Head Games album, but but if if they were offended by the Head Games, they burned all the Foreigner albums. It was insane. Well, that's, you know, as they say, over nothing, over yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, I remember when I got into radio, uh, uh, I was pronouncing your name wrong. I mean, I know it's Lou Graham now because, I mean, you're one of the most famous singers out there. But um, have you had did you have people pronouncing your name wrong in the beginning? Because, uh, well, when I was in Black Sheep, I was still grammatical and they were pronouncing it grammatico and germatico and, and they were butchering it. So when I got in Foreigner, just before we got our 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 our, our signing with Atlantic Records, uh, uh, Bud Prager, Foreigner's manager, called me back in his office and, and he sat me down. And he says, he says, I don't think this is a problem, but I, I want to run it by you. He says, you've got a very ethnic and difficult to pronounce last name. He says, you're going to find out that when uh, uh, people who, who uh, are interviewing you or who introduce you, they're going to butcher your name and you're going to you're going to bristle at that. And it's going to start the interview off on a bad note. He, he says, he says, if I were you and you could take this or leave it, he says, I would shorten it to Graham, G-R-A-M, he said, and, and, and avoid all of that mispronunciation and getting off on the wrong foot and you having to correct them before the interview even starts. He says, shorten it to Graham. And, and, and he says, and leave your last name the way it is for, for business purposes. He says, but for, 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 for performance and for the, the, the stage persona, he says, I would change it. So I didn't do G-R-A-M. I did G-R-A-M-M, -M, which, which my full last name has two M's. How'd your parents react? They they weren't thrilled about it, but when I told them the reason why, they understood. Well, Mike Ranowski, Mike Reno. Right. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember, make sure you like our videos. We really pay attention to that. It helps the videos perform better. Subscribe to our channel. We're reaching 100,000 real soon. And by all means, share our videos on groups or on your Facebook page or on your Twitter. And of course, we read all the comments. And I know a lot of you have been asking how you could help the channel. If you want to donate, we now have a PayPal link. It's at the very top of the description of every video, including this one. And we thank you in advance. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. More from Lou Graham in just a few days.